Hi everyone, today I thought I would just catch up with everybody about what I'm currently working on and just show you what's on my sewing table. In my last video I teased you and said that I'd made a skirt and I'm going to show you, I'll start off, I'll show you what it is. So just, who remembers this one? Um, a classic Colette Mabel skirt and I made version 3 and it says for beginners. And when this pattern came out, I must have bought this pattern, oh, I don't know, it must, have, when it came, roughly after when it came out, so I probably had it a good couple of years in my stash. I have made it before, but I've never worn one before, not really, not successfully, because when I've bought a stretch knit fabric, and because it's relatively fitted, although it is obviously stretchy, you can see your underwear lines and it does it, well maybe it's my shape but if you are carrying a little bit a few extra pounds it you can it shows all your underwear marks so that's always then put me off from wearing it but this time I thought I'd line it and I saw a video it was a while back now by Mimi G and because a lot of the things that she makes are sort of bodycon style dresses so very fitted stretchy dresses she adds power mesh and you can get it here in the UK because I've seen BST fabrics online, they have it. And she says that she sews that in and that stops you from seeing any underwear lines. Now I didn't have any of that, but I did have, um, it's a ponte knit, which I got from a remnant bin at my local shop. And it was, I think it's 1.3 meters and you only need like a meter, but I didn't know what else to make with it. I mean, I thought, well, because I just bought this on a whim, it cost me eight pounds. Because of the color of it, it's more of a winter color if you were to make it into a stretch top or something like that. So I thought I'd make it with a skirt. I have a pair of brown shoes and I thought that they'd go with like black navy and I thought they would go with green. So this is this here. And the back of it, I'm just looking in the screen, sorry, not the lens so I can see what I'm showing you. So it has a kick pleat at the bottom and for the first time in ages, I use my twin needle. I've had varying success with twin needles because I find a lot of time that the thread will snap. So I did it on large stitch length. I didn't want to do a zigzag. Um, and it, didn't, it also reduced like the tunneling effect that sometimes you can get when you have the two lines of stitching. Um, it can sort of like gather the fabric and then you get like a, a tunnel effect. So that did cut that down. Um, and I lined it, I had some scraps, I'll turn it inside out, I had some scraps of jersey um, and so, and also I didn't quite have enough so I actually cut the lining shorter anyway and I didn't hem it so it does hang free. The only problem with it hanging free is that you then have to make sure that both the lining is pulled down and the top if you've been sitting down or that kind of thing it could hitch up so this was kind of like a trial and a trial version just to see how I got on and um, I think I will get some of that power mesh because it has eliminated most of the issue of the underwear line so that is my skirt sometimes my weight fluctuates I'm currently cutting out carbs well really low carbs at the minute to try and lose a few pounds as is my husband so we're hungry and miserable at the minute but that um, stretchy clothes do help with your weight which goes up and down so you have that problem this is quite a good pattern to do oh and instantly I made it all on my sewing machine which is this one here which is a silver 1045 I'd never heard of silver before but I went to a shop which someone had recommended it's about an hour's drive from where I am there are closer places to me that sell sewing machines but the guy was really helpful, but at the time, because I upgraded, I had a Toyota machine. I sold it on eBay a few months later because it was my first machine and I realized you couldn't change the stitch width. You could change the length, but not the width. Um, and there were certain things I then couldn't do that didn't have to stitch for. And I bought this one, perhaps I'll do a separate video about it, but you could do um, embroidery. It had like embroidery, a few basic embroidery settings. Of course now I don't use that that's not something I need it for but it is a digital machine and it has served me quite well but I don't really know how to use my overlooker which is in the background here which I actually went whoops I went back to the same shop this that is supposed to come off it's what attaches the threads hang on let me just move this around this one um, was a second hand one 
and it had been surfaced by the man who then had sold me this and because I was really pleased with this machine I then went on to buy this one which is a Jaguar Eplock 055D if you're interested I've never heard of it I don't really know how to use it other than trimming seams and I do find that my knit, my stretch knit setting on here produces a stitch where you can't really see it when if the fabric is stretched out whereas when I've seen things on my overlocker it can make the top of a seam where the waistband really bulky and you go like that and you can sometimes see the setting you can see the stitches when I've done it on an overlocker so I just tend to sew knits on my sewing machine but that's probably just lack of knowledge on my part. Now the the thing that I'm current now the thing that I'm working on at the moment is the New Look six four six eight, and I showed this in my recent New Look pattern haul. But I'm I'm making this version here, but without the pockets because I've got a pattern fabric, and I think they would just be camouflaged and there's no point if I can get away with it. I think if I was doing a plain fabric then I would add them because it would just add a bit of embellishment. Let me just show you. So this um, is a geometric pattern fabric which I got from Minerva Crafts with a gift voucher that I won about, oh, I don't know, six months, a year ago, something like that. Um, and it is a cotton, I want to say cotton lawn. I think it is a cotton lawn. It was a while ago that I did it. And it's, oh, it's hard to see because I have pinned, is that going to focus? I have pinned down the front here and I've basted the bottom so you can't really see, but it has got um, little um, button loops all the way down and I've had my buttons arrive today from eBay that I got and it said um, a half an inch button. So I used my ruler to work out what that was in millimetres because all the buttons seem to be sold in millimetres these look a bit small so i'm not sure if they are the right they look a bit small so i might need to get bigger buttons before i do that so that is the top half of it and the bottom half this is obviously inside out um i've got the pockets which i've attached there and it then has an elastic casing because obviously my waist is not that wide um so that then draws that in. But I do, I thought I'd line the skirt. Well, I thought I'd line the skirt because it was really cold yesterday. And I thought if we're not gonna get any summer, I don't wanna have a thin dress. So I did have some lining, which is the anti-static lining fabric, which sometimes can make you a bit hot. And I was going to get something like a poplin or a lawn in a dark color, which I was gonna use as a lining. But I had this anyway in my sash, so I thought I would use it. So I think I'm just gonna line the skirt part of it just so then it hangs nicely and doesn't hitch up when I'm walking. But that is going together quite well. We'll see though, when I've put the top bit on, how low the V is and how well that goes. And I made I made sure it wasn't too fitted. So I would say my bust is about a 36, 36 and a half inch. And I went for the 40 inch because I thought actually, do I really want a tight dress? Because the size down was a 39, I think it was. 39 and a half or 38, something like that size bust. And I thought I ha that has been my downfall in the past and especially last summer, sorry. I'm now feeling hot from all this glass sitting here. Um, yes, I have overfitted bodices in the past and then I'm really hot in summer So I thought I would make that a bit more blousy and I would if it turns out well I would like to make it in maybe a navy viscose with some like nice little wooden buttons I thought that, that would look quite well with some nice brown sandals as a nice summery look So that is what I'm currently sewing In case you wanted to say that and I've got a couple of things that I've arrived in the post I have been looking at patterns and I love to watch Viv Mum sews. If you haven't watched her you need to hop over to her channel because she's so inspirational because her enthusiasm for patterns and fabric just has you wanting to know more about patterns and because she's always making something different and that rings true with me because I get bored quite easily and once I've made one pattern I want to make something different. And I also think it will help improve my sewing skills because although I've had a couple of basic dressmaking cl classes to start me off, a lot of it has been self-taught. So I like to learn skills through making different things. Anyway, I'm losing my point here. I 
the patterns in the UK are never really on sale that much. I did get some new look patterns, they were half price. At the minute, there's no real big sale on. So I hit eBay and I got this quick sew pattern. These patterns only cost like three pounds or something like that. And it's so it's quick sew pattern. And I thought that I don't really like a big full skirt part. So maybe this one, but in a plain color and then tied at the front. And I thought, um, with it tight, I'll show you the line drawing so you can see there. So I didn't want it too fitted. So whether I go for that full, I don't really want the full skirt, more of a straighter skirt, but in a floatier fabric and then tied at the front. That, as I've mentioned before, sometimes I get a bit paranoid about my tummy area after having children. If I have, if I'm, that is where, if I'm gonna put on a few pounds, that's straightly, that's straight where it goes. So I thought that would do a bit of tummy disguise. That might be quite nice. And then I got this one, which is an Easy McCall's, I thought it said petite on the, oh, I thought it said petite on the description, but I can't see it on there. So it's a jacket, a blazer pattern, and there's no, there's no line drawing on the back. So I thought that would look quite nice if I could have a plain fabric, just like three quarter, I quite like three quarter length sleeves, nothing too fitted so it just like throws on. So I'm just looking for something like that where I could just wear a jacket or something and it's, it's too hot for a coat. Anyway, I've kept you long enough. I will see you again in my next video.